So yeah, we'll start in the beginning, right? <laughs> okay, I'm seeing, um, you know, this personal power. Oh wow, underneath that is number 32. This is 32, meditation. Um, and I do think that that's important because I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, you know, it's like this, it, she's kind of like the overall energy too, right? This grounding energy. Janice Joplin, it's evolve, but don't compromise. You've all you've got, you're all you've got. Um, I feel like this, you know, is you, right? You've you've come, whether you're ma male or female, does not matter. This, uh, you, the reason that you're showing up as the feminine here is because you've been nurturing yourself, right? <clears throat> and I do feel more of a nurturing of it yourself than, than others. You, you might be nurturing others too, but this is like... <sighs> very much you know about self-empowerment and this you know this evolution connecting with spirit connecting with earth right knowing your worth and being being like very settled and at peace right she looks very at peace here very stable and because of that you know, it's like, you're ready to share your life with someone else. And I think there is a specific person that you have in mind, right? And this has been kind of a repeating theme for Sagittarius. But it really seems to be in the forefront this time. You know, I'm just like, these two, right? Like, there's magic there. Um, you know, this is the devil. Um, but, you know, look at their faces. To me, they look like they have the same look on their faces. They have, the, you know, there's this snowfall here. And then we have this kind of, like, you know... Um, it's like it's, it's, it's happening here, too. You know, this even looks more like stars, actually, in a way. But this is like paint splatter. But, you know, it's still like this, it's carrying over. It's like this magic that's kind of um, percolating throughout this whole <laughs> um, thing here. Um, so I think, you know, I feel like you all, you know, there's not actually any... Uh, communication as of right now not in the 3d at any rate just looks that way to me i feel like there could be some psychic connection but boy do you you know there's like this mutual desire right i'm really feeling like this lustiness and you know this is supposed to be you know it says my dear friend and we see her very you know full on body here and this too but here it's kind of like we're seeing through it right and he this reindeer has this massive um rack <laughs> and uh, you know his hair is kind of flying up in the air i kind of get this you know um canuno serpan kind of feeling from it you know not normally but because it's beside the devil and this look on both their faces right it's like just this desire this magic that's coming through and I do think that, you know, you are, you know, this is kind of <clears throat> a time for, you know, we have Scorpio or Mercury and Scorpio retrograde. And that is a time for doing the shadow work. So, it, you know, it very well could be that you're doing some shadow work, especially with this Five of Pentacles here, right? Um... But we see, you know, because this is in the earth element, which is grounded, this is the door, right? This is the path. 
This is the key. Doing this, this work is the key, right? And it's interesting that we have this 32, touch the sky, and this is about kind of, you know, being isolated and looking down over your life, right? And kind of thinking about things, being, um, you know, we see five birds here. Um, but yeah, we see this Knight of Pentacles dropping pinnacles, and look, right here, there's a cluster of five. So I feel like, you know, you're kind of looking through the, you know, doing the shadow work, looking through the memories, you know, because we do have the Six of Cups here in <clears throat> the air element, you know, and we see this journey of this guy with his, his dog, and, you know, it's just a representation, of course, but I do see you kind of looking, you know, we've all been doing it. It's like, how long? <laughs> <laughs> How much can we do this? But, you know, you're dropping those burdens. You're dropping all of this, uh, you know, those memories that no longer serve you. Maybe memories that make you feel alone, right? That have kept you isolated. And, but you're close to your goal, right? We've been kind of, um, and it, this lover's here, you know, this is what you're kind of moving towards. Um, but you've t gotten off the horse because you don't have, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to walk the rest of the way. It's not far now, right? <laughs> you know? So, um, and we do see, you know, this is the friend, my dear friend. The horse is, is a friend here you know it's like you're never alone you know we see here it's like you feel alone right now but it's because you have this desire right you have this desire this this five of pinnacles is that um deep desire that deep longing that you have for your person and it's like they're always with you whether it's, you know, just uh, this um, tether, right? You all are connected, and it, look, this looks like this guy, yeah? <clears throat> and uh, I do think that because of that, you know, there is this self-mastery that's going on here. Um, yeah, we might as well go there. And this is in the, the water element, right? So uh, learning how to use all, and you know, it's connected with this King of Cups down here, right? This King of Cups has his hand in this singing bowl and, uh, you know, stirring that, right? And that's kind of um, stirring his emotions, right? And being able to, and this Five of Pentacles can totally be <laughs> a um be turned into you know the fifth element right which and be a manifestation all of our emotions can be used to manifest and it's like <clears throat> and it's it's you know from Becoming so calm, so centered, and so in tune with your emotions, being able to learn from the emotions, it just really balances us, right? And we see this limnusgate here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I was going to say it was here. We do see, like, these triangles. Yeah, they're a little bit different, but it's kind of repeating, Right? And in a traditional tarot deck, the devil does hold the lovers hostage. Hmm. And this is a five pointed star right here. Yes. <clears throat> and it's interesting, we do have. Well, let me get to that in just a second. But yeah, this, this mastery of your emotions, this mastery of yourself 
it's really bringing everything into balance. And, you know, this is mermaid's love. This is in your, under your subconscious. And, you know, this king of cups, there's this deep love. And it's like, there we see this bird again. And you're connecting with this person on a subconscious level. Absolutely. And you are just really tuning into the emotions, tuning into yourself. It's just like there's this very healing energy. This is uh, in the fire element. And look, this is Gemini's card, but we see Sagittarius on it. So that's interesting, right? And there's this... They're connected here at the third eye. And that's what's making me think that, you know, especially with Magician here below it, that this isn't actually, you might, you know, you could make an offer. I feel like you're just thinking about the offer right now. You're moving towards your goal. But I just don't get the feeling that you're taking that action yet. I think you're still, you know, evolve, but don't compromise. And, you know, you are far greater than the sum of your fears. I think there are some some fears yet to work through. Yeah, you know, that's why you're working on this. You know, the magician is the one, right? But in the future, I do see you all coming together, right? This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything, you know, this is you two, both whole, both complete. And yeah, there might be, you know, our, our complete, you know, our, our journey is never complete. There's always growing. There's always work to be done. But yeah, this is, um, highly evolved individuals getting together, right? This, this loyalty, this childlike um, energy. And this, I feel like, the, you know, the way she's reaching out to both of them, I feel like this is spirit. Kind of, it's going to be orchestrated, this meeting. <clears throat> but, so it's interesting. We have four sixes. Six, 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 six. We have two fives, we have an 11, two ones, a one, a one, a four, a four, a four, and another one. <laughs> and underneath that is another 11. So yeah, that's kind of interesting that, you know, and we have two fives here. And it's also interesting that the five is in between two sixes. And then this, you know, six is down here, you know, with the one person, right? The magician, the individual, and the, you know, this um, outsider alone feeling, right? So this work that we're doing, this... Um, sadness is ultimately what, you know, we're leaving behind here and this return of harmony is coming in. Really gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get a piece of art. We'll get closing guidance and then we will... I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I'm missing. It's just really beautiful. Um, you know, it's like this is pulling everything together, right? I mean, like, I just feel like everything is, is getting attracted to these two people, this desire for each other, right? All right. So then we'll get closing guidance, and then we'll take a very quick look at the underlying energies. All right. Art for Sag. Okay. I'm just opening it. Hmm. The virgin and child before a fire screen. 
So that is, you know, really the, the fact that they say the fire screen, like, and we don't have fire in here. It's like the fire is being screened, right? As we kind of um, nurture ourselves, right? This newborn baby. <laughs> We're kind of, you know, this desire if that fire was was here, it might be too much to bear, right? And it's like this personal power, this meditation, we see the fire like lit up, right? We're kind of having to um, work to keep it under control. Interesting. Um, and then this is like... You know, and this has come up before. And I kind of see, like, you know, the ships coming in. And I mean, look at all of them. I feel like everything's going to come together at once, right? This Ten of Pentacles. It's like all the dots get, get connected. And everything happens at once. Everything comes together. And this is like, you know, the collective, too. I really, you know, Christ Consciousness Ascension Day. Wow. Ascension. Wow. That's kind of, I mean, we do have this tree of life here. 